Nitrous oxide has a legitimate wide range of medical, industrial and commercial uses. But it has become the new drug craze among the youthful population and is common at nightclubs, pubs and recreational events. Also known as laughing gas, the drug is mostly discharged into balloons and inhaled by revelers. Health experts are concerned about its proliferation on the market. Earlier in this year, I think it's TV3 and other stations talked about the fact that it has become very common at most nightclubs these days. Nitrous oxide is an anesthetic agent and it's a potentially dangerous drug because it causes unconsciousness at the right levels. It can also lead to respiratory depression as well as cardiovascular depression. What I mean by this is that this has effects on the brain and the centers that control your breathing and the way your heart works. And then also has effects on your blood vessels. So when you are using this drug, essentially what you are trying to do is that in a, as the local plants, we say in a low key way, you are trying to anesthetize yourself. It's as though you are putting yourself to sleep for surgery, but without the ventilators and other things being on you. So this one is the strawberry flavor. Mm. How about this one? This one. TV3 earlier reported many young people become addicted through peer pressure and sheer curiosity. I visited this nightclub around 2 a.m. where the laughing gas had been stocked for patrons. Prolonged use can cause anemia and nerve damage or even compromise breathing and kill users in less than 10 minutes. We are calling on the security agencies to step up their efforts to one, monitor the airways for the advertisement of these items, FDA included, and then the media commission itself must play an active role. Then also, police should be moving to some of these areas to monitor for some of these canisters that are available and then seize these items arrest those who are selling this to uh, people across the country. With little or no regulation regarding its use and distribution, it is perhaps time for the relevant authorities to act. Christian Yale, TV3 News, Accra.